When we publish an MP4 video through PTE AV Studio, it doesn't give us the opportunity to select an image as a cover or icon for that video. So when we come to view the MP4 videos in Windows Explorer or other programs, or we upload it to social media, the cover that appears is not always our best choice. It would be nice to be able to select an image from the video we've created, rather like a book cover, or even create something special in our image editor like Photoshop, specially for the job. We'll take a look at that in another five minute video. Now this is quite an easy process, but we need to download a free bit of software called MP3 Tag. Do a Google search as I did this morning, 17th of March 2022, and download the version of MP3 Tag that you find. The current one is version 3.12. You can see the setup XE there is ready for download. Download and install MP3 Tag. It's all pretty standard stuff, nothing you have not done before. When you get towards the end of the installation, you're offered the ability to make a donation. Give that some thought. If everyone who downloaded this software gave the guy a couple of dollars, I'm sure he'd be very grateful for that. Launch MP3 Tag and you can open your MP4 folder alongside. So there you can see four MP4s and I'll select the red balloons. I'm going to click, drag and drop it into MP3 tag. Once it's in place, I'm going to highlight red balloons up at the top right. Go down to this option here. Right click and choose to add a cover. Now I'm given a window to browse for that cover. Now I happen to know this is on the desktop because I put the slideshow there for convenience here, so I just need to locate it. There it is, double click. Now I can choose anything. Let's choose something quite striking. Let's choose that one and open. And once I've done that, I can just go to the top left here and choose save. There we have the new cover. Now what we need to remember is that our cover or icon, whatever we choose to call it, it's likely to be seen quite small, even when we view it extra large as a thumbnail in Explorer. So one of the options we have is to select an appropriate image from the slideshow we've made and maybe take it into our image editor and put a big bold title on it. Let's do that with the sun danced. I've already made the title, as you've seen, in Photoshop. So I'm going to select red balloon and hit the delete key to remove it. Click, drag and drop the sun danced. Exactly the same as before. Just highlight it. Right click the little square, add the cover. I'm going to navigate to my desktop. There's the folder. Just find the image that I created. There it is, double click that and save. And there we have the next one done. Now we can see here that maybe I've made a little bit of an error here, but that's not a great problem because we can go back into Photoshop. We can make the text a little bit different and quickly reapply it. But if we think we've made a mistake, we can go to the little cross up here and we can remove that. Now I've just adjusted that text. Let's see if it fits a little better. Once again, highlight, right click, add the cover, desktop, the sun danced. Now I've got two versions, cover, edit, double click and save. And that one, as you can see, fits a lot better. So with MP3 Tag Editor, we can use any image from our show, or we could create something unique in our software like Photoshop. And we'll take a look at that in another five minute video.
Thanks for watching.